Before tableting, a pre-densification step, often referred to as slugging, is generally performed to densify the catalyst material so that the tablet feed flows predictably and the dyes fill evenly. The dry catalyst powder is usually pre-mixed with a lubricant, such as graphite, and is fed by a hopper into the wafer molds. The pre-densified wafers are fed into a granulator that pushes them through a screen which has a mesh size specifically defined for the material being processed. This ensures that particles with the correct flow characteristics for the tablet press are produced. The granulated catalyst material is fed into two locations on opposite sides of the tablet press, where a feed frame then fills the dies that rotate through each station. The material in the die is compressed by punches from the top and bottom. The bottom punch pushes the tablet up out of the die and a scraper pushes the pellet down a chute into a drum. BASF's tableting presses manufacture round cylinders as well as hollow core round cylinders. The smallest tablet is 1 8 inch. At that size, it takes 4 million tablets to fill one 55-gallon drum. Compared to other formed catalysts, tablets offer reduced porosity and increased density without the use of a binding agent. Their uniform structure is ideal for multi-tubular reactors where equivalent pressure drop is required or for reactors where the maximum weight of the catalytically active metal in a reactor provides longer life.